Hi, I'm Paul with Rack Attack, and this is the Rocky Mounts Tomahawk Roof Mount Bicycle Carrier. Here we have installed onto this vehicle that's equipped with a factory crossbar system. This carrier is designed to hold either mountain bikes or road bikes with the front wheel still attached, so there's no need to disassemble the bike. The whole bike lifts up into place. And it's designed to mount to the factory crossbars, as you see here, along with a wide range of other roof rack crossbar systems. So what we'll do is uh, go ahead and take this off of the roof rack and go inside and show you this carrier in detail up close. And then we'll come back outside and load the bike up and discuss some of the features that make this rack unique. Okay, so let's have a look at the Rocky Mounts Tomahawk up close. So for starters, let's discuss the construction. This has an extruded aluminum two-part tray. The two parts are bolted together on this center steel plate. So that's essentially when it comes to assembly. All you'll need to do is attach this tray to this plate with these two bolts. It comes with really good instructions that illustrate exactly what's involved with the installation. Also, you have this, co this cover here that you pull off. There's two tabs that you press in to allow it to disengage from the steel base. And then here we have the pre-installed hardware that we installed previously. There's two plastic pieces. The top portion here is what would rest on your crossbar. And this lower portion is what grips under from underneath the crossbar. And I want to point out, it has an extra long bolt that can be used with or without this spacer. So in our case, our, our crossbars are of a standard thickness. So we would use the spacer and that'll provide just the right amount of length. But if you have extra thick crossbars, you would not use that spacer and you go without it. So what you want to make sure is that you don't have too much threading sticking out to where on a low crossbar, it could potentially have contact with this, the bolt could have contact with the rooftop. We'd want to avoid that. Okay, other parts of the assembly is this steel wheel stop. So the wheel stop has two fasteners that you would attach the upper portion to the lower portion with the two fasteners. So that's part of the assembly. Now, these racks out of the box are set up with the handle for access on the driver side of the vehicle. So in many cases, if, you're, if you prefer passenger side so that you can load and unload curbside, or if you're carrying a second bike, you'll wanna change the position of this arm from one side to the other. And so that's what I wanted to show in detail because it's not a common adjustment. So to make that adjustment, what you'll do is you'll rotate the arm to this ver vertical position, as you see here. And then you have a fastener that's right here that you'll loosen this fastener. It's a multi-step process to make this change, but we want to do this so that you can see what's involved. So it is quite simple, actually, and worth it so that you can make this adjustment. So I've pulled off that and I took off the end cap and then you'll also want to loosen up these fasteners here and these fasteners are the ones that that determine how how firmly the arm rotates up and down so we'll just loosen that slightly there's four fasteners there okay now with that loose I can pull outward on the entire arm assembly and change it from, in this case, we had it set up for passenger side access. Now we'll switch it to driver side access. So I'm going in this direction and then it's everything in reverse. We'll put this end cap back into place and then we'll put this fastener back into place here. If you can see that, I'll get my hand out of the way. Okay, so there it is and tighten that up okay so it's a pretty quick swap over and 
you'll want to make sure you do that if you are installing one of these carriers on the passenger side. Okay, so now I'm going to go back and make the and firm up these clamps so that you have a, a firm grip to the arm assembly. Okay. So now there's some friction and resistance and this arm doesn't flop around. Okay, so now it's back to the actual driver side factory setting and how it comes out of the box. Okay, now also I wanted to mention the lock options. So this plastic plate will insert onto the steel plate and snap into position. And so that keeps all those fasteners um, to where they're not exposed. But for a theft deterrent, you'd want to consider a purchase of the Rocky Mount lock cylinders. It requires a two pack, one for this housing here, which will lock the cover to that base plate. And a second to lock the handle so that once you have your bicycle attached and you try to release this trigger, that trigger won't release until the lock cylinder is turned to the unlock position. So a pack of two, or if you're purchasing two of these carriers, you can get a pack of four that's all key matched for convenience. That way you'll have all four of the lockdown points on the two carriers all key matched. Okay, so then some other features I wanted to point out is you do have the aluminum tray that we mentioned and the nylon buckle for the, for the front and rear wheel that slides back and forth along that channel to match up with a wheelbase length all the way up to 48 inches. So up to 48 inches, but no, no more than 48 inch wheelbase length. So you just press the button to release and then you can bend it back on itself to hold it out of the way when you're loading. And we'll demonstrate that when we load the bike shortly, but that keeps it out of your way. And that way, when you set the wheel down or tire down, it won't, it won't be in your way there. So as it is here, this is this length of this strap will accommodate road and mountain bikes. However, if you get into a fat tire bike, you'll want to use the extension, which is included. And I have one here. Two of these are included, one for the front and one for the rear. And this will allow for a bike all the way up to a five inch wide tire. Same thing with this wheel stop here. It's wide enough to accommodate all the way up to a, a five inch wide tire. It has that deep V section there to accommodate the narrow road bike tires, as does the tray with a narrow section within the tray. And now let's take a look at the rear. We have the rear mounting hardware, which slides in a, in a track on the underside of the bar. And something worth noting is that you can have the rear wheel strap slide directly over that connection point to your crossbar. There's lots of bike mounts on the market that you would have to disassemble the rear attachment hardware and re reassemble everything in a different order. Whereas this one, it slides directly over because you have independent channels for the rear crossbar hardware and the two parts of the rear strap. Okay, so those are all the up close details of the Tomahawk. Now let's go back outside and we'll go ahead and load up a bike and show you some techniques that'll make loading and unloading bikes onto this carrier easy. Okay, back outside. Let's go ahead and remove this bike and I'll show you some techniques in unloading and reloading a bicycle. This is a fairly tall SUV, so by opening up the back door and standing on the threshold, you can easily reach the release straps and the different parts that you have to get to. So whenever you take off the bike, you want to first undo the the wheel straps. So let me go ahead and get the rear first and then the front. Okay, now the wheels are released. You want to gain control of the bicycle and then you can grab the blue button and release that button and bring the hook down and away. And now you want to plan your exit strategy by 
lifting and getting control of the bike. I've got balance of the bike and I'll go ahead and step back and down. Okay, and you can see where I'm holding the bike, which is at the lowest points of stability. And so to reload the bike, that's where you want to start with again. So I'll grab, grab it there and I have the bike up and over my head and I'll go ahead and step up to the threshold, get the rear wheel in first, get the front wheel in, get the bike up vertical. And with the bike in that position, you get your stability from the hook and you want that hook to be centered over the tire and pull as hard as you can, get a good firm grip because that's where you're getting all the extra stability. Now back at the, at the tire, also I didn't show on the far side, back on the back here, you can see there's a hook that will, let me find it, here it is, okay, so you have a hook there that can keep that strap out of your way while you're loading, and so that's a nice little added feature. So there's, there's how you would strap that down. Keep in mind, of course, you can fully adjust the position of these, of these buckles so that it secures at a good point on the rim. And now I'm gonna step back over here onto the back tire of the vehicle. And I can do the same thing here, run the strap through. Of course, this one also has, if you can see it, the, the hook to hold that strap out of your way. And then, now you got a good secure fit. And at this point, you would insert uh, your key and lock this, had you, had you purchased the lock cylinders. And then also you'd make sure that your cover here is locked. So you'll have your security for the carrier to your bars and the bike to the carrier. Okay, so those are all the key features of the Rocky Mounts Tomahawk roof mount bicycle carrier. This product and the full line of Rocky Mount products are available at RackAttack.com. Please see the link in the video description for all your buying options. And if you have any questions or comments on this rack in particular, feel free to leave those in the comments section below. And that's all for this one. Thanks for watching.